as something crazy happened last night so we were in our van like around 9 uh, p.m and we were just hanging out rachel was teaching some of her classes and pretty much what happened is that we heard some loud noises which we thought were fireworks because we've heard loud noises around this area before there's a park area that that we're next to and that people come like to come and hang out here at night so that's what we thought it was it was some fireworks uh, but it sounded really close to us so when she was done teaching her class I went outside and looked and there was there's a bullet hole in freaking on the side of our van and pretty much what happened is someone shot at our van while we were inside I don't know if it was on purpose or an or an accident or we were just in the crossfire but we just wanted to let you guys know what's happening so we're doing this video uh in the next morning because obviously we were so choking up last night that we didn't know uh what to do and we were also talking to the cops for a bit and then also moved to a different area just because we didn't felt safe over here just for a number of reasons we've been showing our locations on instagram which is looking back is pretty stupid so we didn't know if someone was specifically targeting us or like i said before if we were on the crossfires or if it was an accident but we were sitting back there let me show you so we were sitting back here where rachel is now and i was on the other side where all the clothes are and the reason the clothes are there right now is because this this is where the shot penetrated in our van this it went all through this board here which is a tough heavy duty board that our electrician installed for our electrical components and we found the bullet in this area here and we didn't want to touch touch it obviously until the cops came and uh, put that for evidence but yeah we were right here and as you can see this is like two feet away from where Rachel was teaching her class and that's a lot more of a reinforced area than it is on those walls there so it would have definitely gone through those walls and caused us harm if it, it was in that area yeah it was definitely really scary um i think that we kind of just assumed that the best of the situation and we just assumed oh it's probably fireworks even though we did hear like something hit the van but we just assumed like you know firework can hit the van whatever um i guess we should have gone out earlier to check out the situation but again i was teaching my classes and we just we would never thought that our van would get shot obviously right. um but yeah we we're just really like grateful obviously that it wasn't a lot worse but we are definitely like shooken up like i mean we've loved staying in here in san diego like we love this spot and we've we've never felt uh not safe here up until yesterday which is yeah. the weird part i mean there's a lot of different factors that make us believe both ways that it was an accident and there's a lot of different factors that make us believe that it wasn't for example there was multiple uh shots being fired noises that we've heard so it was to us, it doesn't seem like it would just be like an accidental, uh, you know, someone fired a shot accidentally. Right, it just went off. Right, yeah. that just went off. And then there's also factors the other way. Uh, we saw this group of individuals here in the parking lot for a while, and they were hanging out, it looked like. And then th all of a sudden, uh, we heard the, the gunshots, and then they, they moved out. So that, that would be less likely if they came here specifically to do do us harm, to be out there hanging around um, and then fire a shot. You would think that, especially because there were a lot of them, you would think that maybe one or two discreetly would come and, and go fast. So there are definitely different factors on both ends. We don't know what happened. We just want to give you guys uh, the reality of the situation, what happened to us. And I mean, you guys can decide for yourselves whether you think this was intentional or not because we don't we don't really know but we're going to play it on the safe side and not stay here if that was a motive for them to right. to do us harm yeah and just like taking a break from social media for a little bit just to 
kind of take some time for ourselves and figure out what we really want. Yeah, and we're also going back home uh, because we, so we've been staying in San Diego here for three weeks now, and uh, I think like a week ago or or so, uh, we got clipped on the side of our van. Someone backed up into us, so we have that issue as well, and now we have a hole on the side of our van, uh, but we want to go back home because we want to take care of these re uh, repairs and have somewhere to stay. When something like this happens, it just makes you uh, rethink a bunch of decisions that you've made, that we've made. I mean, to get us to this point, we, as you guys, obviously you know, we make videos and we're on Instagram, like we're putting our lives out there. So if people don't like what, what they see, we unfortunately we've made it way too easy for them to do us harm if that is the case obviously we don't know if they were trying to intentionally do this um but yeah for now we're gonna go back home and we're not sure if we're gonna keep making videos um or if we're just gonna take a break for a little while but we'll keep you guys updated i mean one, the main reason we started to do this video is to give back to the community that's inspired us to do this lifestyle um, and, and just try to help people out that are going to be doing this lifestyle. But if that puts us in jeopardy or at risk, uh, it's just not worth it. Right. So, I mean, obviously there's there's things that we can do uh, to to make it a lot harder for someone that wants to do us harm to do us harm like not give out a location on instagram stories obviously that's that was dumb looking back but there's always going to be that factor of, of of us making videos that if someone doesn't like it then obviously they you know they have someone to hate on right and there i mean there's obviously like we have considered the other option is like that it was just an accident and we just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time or you know there was something going down between this group of people and we just happened to be in the middle in the of way it. Yeah. um so i mean of course like you could be anywhere in the world and like have bad situations happen to you like that and just be unlucky um so we're not trying to say like you know stay away from this place in san diego like we're not trying to scare people like obviously the cops said that it was just kind of like a freak thing that happened like they they said that really doesn't happen here very often um and we haven't had any other problems here before this so like we had felt safe yeah. um up until last night and so yeah i mean we're not we, we don't want to like freak people out and no make it seem like it's a bigger deal than it is but like right. for us like we could have died we could have gotten injured like it exactly. could have been a lot worse and so like obviously for us it's very real it's very scary like this is our real life you know like things can change so quickly yeah like we were totally fine yesterday we were thinking about like what else we're going to be doing here like so excited for yeah. my birthday weekend like we're going to have birthday pants. yeah it's coming up this weekend and, and it we all were, changed. yeah and we were actually going to do a completely different video we were going to do a video all about jj and another video about San Diego because we've loved it here. This spot uh, has been amazing to us. We have uh, water hookup and dump station nearby. So we really love this spot. We were going to do a video of if you want to stay long term somewhere in the city, this is really what we were going to recommend. But yeah, like she said, though, we, we're not trying to scare anyone into not doing this. We just want to let you guys know the reality of living in a van. And that brings me to an, uh, another point that I don't really hear a lot of on YouTube, which is there is definitely a, a safety risk when you're living out in a van, especially when you're next to a, a public area like a park like we are now. Um, the, there, there's a risk of someone just their gun going off and you're now in a parking lot close to them, you know, or like if people have uh, conflicts with each other and they're shooting at each other and you're sleeping in your van you know you can get in the crossfire obviously that that's a little bit more of a risk than being at your house but it could also happen there yeah so yeah I mean bad things can happen pretty much anywhere it's just I feel like you're a little bit more vulnerable when when you're living in your van and it's right. just like things that we we literally never thought that something like this yeah. was gonna happen 
and we're just glad like I mean obviously we were like super shaken up and like um like I didn't sleep well at all last night and like JJ was like freaking out he still doesn't feel good but I mean he he's okay like we're okay but just right. gonna we're take a little bit of time to still. recover yeah. from everything and we hope that you guys will understand like where we're coming from and and why we need to kind of take this time for ourselves so so we just wanted to be 100 percent real with you guys this is what's happening and we're probably gonna have to take a break for a little while to gather our thoughts and see where we want to move forward but we do want to give thanks to everyone who's been supporting us along our journey up until this point i mean some of you guys have supported supported us a lot in our videos some of you guys have been amazing with us and we've met a follower the other day that just i mean told us how much we've have influenced him and his journey and our electrical system and what we've done and stuff like that it just is a whole reason why we did this channel to try to uh encourage others to do the same and show them the way that you could do it if you want to have everything run through electricity or you know have it differently than what's already out there I just bought my exact same vehicle promaster 3500 extended and this guy has been instrumental and kind of set me in the right direction and all of his mistakes helping me out <laughs> and not make mistakes so so that's where we are now and if this is our last video, we just want to say thank you to everyone who has supported us and we've made a difference in their lives and JJ as well. Yeah, we know that JJ has a lot of fans out there, so he wants to say bye to yeah. or hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you and we love you guys. Thank you for your support and maybe we'll see you guys later.